Hi, I'm Kerry Brenner and I'm a PhD student who's based full-time here at the Central Laser Facility. Okay, the, I guess the best things are, is, are being exposed to such ground frontier science, being involved with teams from all over the world who come here to use the laser systems that we have here at the CLF, being involved hands-on in the nuts and bolts of ground research is really exciting um, and, and being allowed to play around in, in kind of these research areas. Um, I guess sometimes the worst thing in being in experimental physics is sometimes the days can be very, very long and slow. Um, you're having to rely on things working so well um, and sometimes they don't, especially when you're, you're dealing with mirrors and alignment and it just takes one little nudge and you have to start again for another five hours, so you need a lot of patience in this job. I guess as a plasma scientist, I would have to say probably Mr. Maxwell. Uh, his Maxwell's equations um, govern a lot of the interactions, of the electrom electromagnetic um, interactions that happen in plasma physics. So his ideas and his equations are pretty much the grounding in, in plasma physics that, as we know today. Because of the applications that it can and deliver and because plasma physics is such an exotic area of physics that's still not very well understood, any development in our field that happens experimentally or theoretically can really push us forward in, in our understanding of the world that happens around us. Plasmas are everywhere. They're in space, so we, if we can understand what happens in a controlled atmosphere in, in the laboratory, we can um, relate that to what's happening in the solar system. Plasmas are going to be important in fusion energy research. If we can solve that problem, we can have energy for hundreds of thousands of millions of years to come and solve the world's energy crisis, to put it simply. Try and have a broad opening for science. So when you're choosing A-levels, um, all of the core scientists Physics, chemistry and biology, they all have experimental elements to them and theoretical elements to them and by taking those A-levels or even just one of them you'll realise what kind of scientist you want to become or what really floats, you know, what really ticks your boxes um, and be open to science degrees. I think that's, that's where you'll get your first opening to experimental physics and what it means to be a scientist. If you're interested and you enjoy physics and science or even chemistry, biology, then definitely follow them through. They open up so many doors. Even if you don't want to stay in science, you can still call yourself a scientist if you have a science degree.